Well, another one of the close races we are watching, the Oregon governor's race. And despite the state's Republican as a Democratic strong reputation, excuse me, as a Democratic stronghold, the governor's race right now is neck and neck, with the Republican candidate holding a slight lead right now, talking one point over her Democratic opponent. Lisa Balick from our affiliate KOIN joins us to talk about this race now. Lisa, thank you for joining us. We know the governor's mansion has been occupied by a Democrat since all the way back in 86. But right now, the Republican candidate polling ahead of the Democrat. Why is there this toss up? Well, what you're not mentioning is actually there is a third candidate, and that seems to be one of the critical issues in this race, is you have a third candidate, an unaffiliated candidate, who is pulling significant votes, primarily away from the Democrat in this race. Now, she herself was a former Democratic lawmaker, the third party candidate, Betsy Johnson, and she is also somebody who supports abortion rights. She's also a gun owner, gun collector. So you can see where there is, especially among unaffiliated voters, which there are now more unaffiliated voters in Oregon than either Republicans or Democrats. And that is making a big difference in this race, no question about it. One other issue, too, are the key issues that are here right now. Crime, homelessness, you have more than 4,000 people living on downtown Portland streets. These are key issues that people have been concerned about and now are affecting the quality of life across the board here in Oregon. The protests that you're seeing right now, back a couple of years ago, those have definitely quieted it down. But these other issues are just critical, affecting quality of life, concerns among businesses moving out of downtown Portland, concerned about what's going on with the homeless situation growing larger each year. We have a Democratic mayor, Democratic governor, a lot of fingers being pointed at some of these folks for what people say is not doing enough to take care of some of these situations. Well, so Lisa, you mentioned votes being pulled away from the Democratic candidate there. Uh, let's talk about the president, President Biden. Uh, his popularity certainly varies depending on which state you're in. He recently campaigned for the Democrat, Tina Kotick there. Did that help her or did that hurt her? Well, he focused on coming just to the Portland area, the Multnomah County, which is the largest county in the state. It also voted more than 79% for President Biden last time. So it's a stronghold of Democrats in the state. Clearly he was going after them, but keep in mind though, he did no public events. They were invited events where he went to a phone bank for Tina Kotek's campaign. He also went and had a speech. Primarily though, the folks that were there were invited guests who were union members. So again, a very targeted group, almost sort of, as they say, speaking to the choir, but hoping his message would resonate across the state. But uh, again, the fight, the sense is right now, will be in the most populated county, in Multnomah County, turnout. And in fact, right now, turnout is actually less than it was this time back in 2018. That's a big concern right now for the Democrats, for sure. Oh, yeah, I'd say so. All right, Lisa Balick, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.